slide closer into the wind while pulling in the pulling in the main tube. Oh, Jesus! It's all gone to your head. That's Pascal being a whale. Welcome to Free Range Sailing. Join us as we sail around Australia, visiting its wild places in our 30 foot, 50 year old sailing boat, Marul. Living off the land and sea while sailing a yacht that costs less than a new car. We show that it's possible to have big adventures with a seaworthy boat on a very modest budget. After almost two weeks at Lady Musgrave Island, it was time to finally say goodbye to the Great Barrier Reef and continue our journey south to Fraser Island. Well, we've been listening to whales. Um, <coughs> that's Pascal being a whale. So we've been um, we've been listening to whales all week, really, while we've been diving here at Lady Musgrave and we're about to say farewell to the reef and head on down into Harvey Bay. Now we've been there before um, and we just sort of made a blistering run of it but we're going to go spend a week or two down there this time because the whales on their southern migration usually stop at Harvey Bay and we'd really like to get a, a closer look at them. So the easterly's here, the weatherman has lived up to his word and we're going to go sail down this harbour. The wind was right to sail off our mooring. While dropping the mooring line, having the head sail backed ensures we turn off in the right direction without using the engine. With sails drawing well and the boat on course, Troy set the wind vane and we enjoyed a sail in silence. Wedging the tiller pilot behind our outboard engine keeps it safe but ready to use at any time. Well that's, um, that's a bit of peace and quiet restored, no wind generator and um, now that we've got a little bit more wind, basically we're going into a light breeze so the boat would pretty much steer itself so it makes sense just to have it on the, on the wind on a wind vane rather than having a noisy little electric thing. You don't like it, do you, Pascal? No, it like, even after we've turned it off, I can still hear it. <laughs> it haunts me. I, I noticed the tiller's a little bit offline. It should only be about five degrees. So I think I could probably just take a little bit out of that mainsail. What are we doing? We're still doing five knots, aren't we? Well, the wind's definitely in our favour now. Um, I said before we are going to leave and we were looking for an easterly in it, so it's just slightly south of east, which means that the tower run down into Harvey Bay um, is a nice close reach, which means we're doing about six and a half knots. We are heeled over a little bit, um, but the seas aren't too bad, you know. We're not, we're not wearing greenies over the bow or anything like that. And it's even got to the point where Pascal said she's gonna just whip up a bit of a stew, which is amazing, but she can handle things uh, like that a bit better than I can. I'd, I sort of lose my temper when I start dropping things down in a galley. Not the easiest circumstances in the world? No, but I was too busy having 
fun going on a sup to prepare food before we went sailing. So now I suffer. It's not actually that bad. It's not that bad at all. Considering we're doing six knots. Yes, yeah. What are we? Almost quite tall there. There's just no sea. Um, we're at a very close reach. We're not quite close hauled. I'm just amazed at how well you manage this stuff. Maybe just your calmer temperament means that you're better at cooking stuff. Whoa. So what are you whipping up there, Pasky? Um, it's kind of a cheat meal. It's a Japanese stew. So there's like, we got given these, gifted these um, packets of stew mix which has got like all spices and veggie powder and stuff like that in it and probably MSG. Yes. So, <laughs> I'm just chopping up vegetables and simmering them in some olive oil and then I'm going to add mackerel. Once I've added the stew mixture in water I'll add the mackerel as well. We'll have a mackerel stew and I've got couscous here. I just pour boiling water onto couscous because that's really easy to cook while we're underway. We've only had scroggin and junk food noodles today. Scroggin? That's Is that real all you've food. had? That's real food. Yeah, but it's not a meal. It's not a hot meal. As night fell, we were making good speed. Which saw us at Fraser Island for some sunrise whale watching. Crazy. So we've made it. What did you think of that, Pascal? That was awesome. That was a, like probably my best morning watch ever. It was a <laughs> whale spotting watch. So what Pascal was so happy about, um, we sailed off our mooring yesterday afternoon um, and we didn't actually have to turn on the main engine until we got into into Harvey Bay here when the wind finally died on us um, in the wee early hours and I handed over to Pascal at about 3 o'clock this morning and you sort of watched the sunrise with whales, didn't you Pasky? I did. So it's been really good. Um, yeah, so we were blasting, we were blasting down, we were doing seven knots for a lot of it and then we slowed down um, when the wind eased off around about 10 o'clock, I think. But we made tremendous time. <laughs> we did really well. Yeah, we did. Um, but it, that's what was expected, like it was an east-northeast, mostly easterly and then a little bit of uh, north went into it and um, then died off. But it all, we, we sailed the plan. It's really unusual. After a day of catching up on sleep from our overnight passage, we awoke to a beautifully calm day in Platypus Bay. We'd been hearing the whale song through the hull all night and woke in the morning to find one playing in the shallows around us. It looked like this whale might have been rolling around in the shallow water to get a back rub on the sand. With no breeze to sail, we fired up the engine and went to look for more humpback whales.
go in, we'll find where it shelves up shallow and we'll come back into just that deep water and anchor there. It seems like the whales are coming up and down the thing. It's hard to tell what these humpback whales were up to from eye level on the boat, so we sent up the drone to take a closer look. Humpback whales perform courting behaviour here in Harvey Bay, on their way south to Antarctica. It looked like this lady had found an eager escort. It wasn't long until some competition showed up. We're just sailing off the anchor now. Try as far as pulling up the anchor. So we can come up closer into the wind while pulling in the pulling in the main ship. Watch your windex. Is that what your Windex has to say? Yeah, that's great steering. So you're doing... Ooh, 4.5. Yeah, we just came out of the lee of something, or like, current or... What do you mean we came out of the lee of something? Look well, at the open ocean out there. I know, but like, <laughs> we weren't going anywhere. I don't know whether there was like... I, I think there might have been Land a current here. fighting us. No, I'm just trolling you. <laughs> There's right. a headland up there. Maybe it was that. I think as, when it came close to land, maybe it was buffering back. <sighs> oh, I've gone too close. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> it's all gone to your head. Because you were trolling me. It's because I was giving you compliments. I was telling you what great steering. Oh, that's right. You were. What were you saying? I was saying how wonderfully you're steering this boat. Got to 4.5 knots. No, I'm back down to three. You got something to aim for. That's all right. Just come off the wind to accelerate, and then you can. I have come off the wind. You can come back up. Well, I've seen one whale jumping over there, but he's a little bit too far. Yeah. To call it whale watching, whale sailing. This is the most fun that we've had close hauled too for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh! Look That's out. not a good idea. Don't Sorry. sit on the hooks. No, I'll try not to. Sorry about trying to poke your eye out then. <laughs> I have glasses on. It's one of the keys, isn't it? 
have glasses on when you're fishing. Yeah. Especially around loose characters like us. This thing's holding up to a wet willy. That's disgusting. What do you do that for? <laughs> Give it a little clean out. <laughs> Can you please dry out the clean out? So now you see what I have to put up with. Wet willy. Time to tack. Poor tacking. Just come over to the seat and steer, and then you'll end up on the high side, mm -hmm. which is all good. Mm -hmm. That's um, just just ease off that traveller so this is centred, so it's ready for the tack, and it'll pretty much manage itself then. That's pretty good. And that should run pretty nicely. All right, so jump on the low side now. Take that handle out, chuck it in its spot. Alright, go now. Go now. Tacking! Tacking! Throw it all up. Oh, beautiful. So you got your spot that you're aiming for? And then it got up to the other one. Huh. Well, whatever oh, you no, win... I want the one that we were aiming for. That's whatever, it. whatever your Windex allows you to says do. you can do. Yeah, so I'll just be a little... I won't be right on the wind right now. I'll just get this sail right. All right, so you manage the mainsail as you're steering, and I'll just follow you with the heady. Okay. Huh. I think that telltale's stuck. You ain't stuck, it's moving. The middle one? Oh, yeah, no, don't worry about that thing. <laughs> Sorry, I thought <laughs> you had the not window. <laughs> Alright, start sneaking him up. Oh, yes. We didn't lose much speed at all. That's because you did a great, great tack. As the wind started to ease, we looked for a spot to drop anchor. An easy enough job here behind Fraser Island. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> we looked like a killer whale. So it's got a really distinctive fin and a pale side, but it's quite sharp little dorsal fins. It's like, it's like a massive bloody dolphin. So we just had a beautiful sunset and some sort of whale dolphin creature <laughs> that we don't know what it is seemed to be hunting under our boat which was pretty amazing. Troy just stuck his head out and thought it was a turtle <laughs> but it was actually a cool dolphin thing. And we heard humpbacks as well jumping over that way over the bow but I mean they're too quick for us <laughs> filming the other creature. <laughs> Madness. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Free Range Sailing and if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.